Hi, and welcome to another video from revisionworld.com. This time we'll be talking about the poem Storm on the Island by Seamus Heaney. The poem highlights the violence of nature as experienced by Heaney. There's a great deal of vivid description and use of sounds to create a sense of a violent storm throughout the poem. The people of the island expect the storm and are prepared by building their houses low down in height so they are not blown over. The houses are also built in a sturdy manner with walls sunk in rock so they stand up to the power of the wind and the rain. There is personification on the earth in line 3, the wise and earth, to show that the earth is also intelligent enough to know that hay will not be able to grow there or be able to stand up to the power of the wind, so it is not seen on the island. The idea of it becoming wizened indicates that maybe hay tried to grow, but this is soon put to an end by the brutality of the elements. Trees are also absent, emphasising how powerful the winds must be. The image of the island is now of a very drab, barren landscape with little growing, almost like a desert. The absence of trees gives a sense of a loss of company, line 6. This seems to be because the wind will cause the trees to make a lot of noise, which at least identifies the power of the storm. Here there is no sound, so the storm appears to be more eerie and unpleasant as a result. The trees are personified in terms of the noise they could make, raise a tragic chorus in a gale, like a bad choir singing, warning of unhappy or unpleasant events. This could reflect the unhappiness of the people on the island as the storm rages around them. The tone is almost conversational, you know what I mean, as if Heaney is talking directly to the reader, almost confiding in them. The sea is also seen as violent, exploding comfortably, an oxymoron which shows it is violent, exploding, but happy or at home, comfortably, in this environment. The violence is further exaggerated by the flung spray and the violence of hits the very windows is a powerful force, causing damage to the houses. The animal imagery, spits like a tame cat turned savage, shows it is unpleasant and uncontrollable. The image also indicates that the sea can be calm and tame, but has now taken on a rough, savage appearance. All the people living on the island sit tight, waiting for the storm to end, and while wind dives, uses alliteration on the W to emphasise the harsh qualities of the wind. There is a war or weaponry image with space as salvo, and we are bombarded with the empty air, as if they are being attacked by an invisible army with invisible bullets. The storm is invisible, yet it causes so much fear in us. Is this a reference to God as well? This is something that is feared by so many, it's so powerful, can cause so much harm, and make so many scared. Heaney was an Irish poet, and the theme of the power of religion is very prominent in many of his poems, as is the force of nature. Thanks for watching, and as ever, subscribe to our channel for more revision videos, and for more revision materials, go to revisionworld.com.